Amen. For our pearl of wisdom today, I want to talk about the importance of counsel. Amen. The importance of counsel. You know, a lot of times people, they made mistakes in their life and things that came up in their life and they said, well, I didn't know. I made a mistake. But yet that information was actually known by somebody else. Amen. That information was known by parents. It may have been known by your friends. It may have been known by just people who communicate with you. Even perhaps even a little child who came up and said something that gave that information. And just going to talk for one minute about the importance, amen, of wise counsel, amen. Proverbs 11 and 14 says, where no counsel is, the people fall. And the reason why it says that is because by the time you normally learn how to deal with life, you're an old person and you've failed many times. And this is how come today people say they reach their 50s, 60s, 40s, or whatever. They say, if I had only known, I would have never done that. Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise God. And so that's how come we fall because we did not know. But someone else knew. Amen. It said, but in the multitudes of counselors, there is safety. So when you surround yourself with people who are wise, people who have been down the road before, who can give you people, it has to be people who love you, not people who don't criticize you, but people who care about you and love you. Perhaps your, your, your parents, amen, your, your siblings, Perhaps your pastor, amen. People who are been, who really care about you, amen. There is safety when you listen because they'll give you information that you normally may not see because you're so close to the situation that your emotions and your, your feelings, everything take control of your mind and your thoughts that you can rationally see what's really going on around you. And by the time you figure it out, you married the wrong person. By the time you figure it out, you're bankrupt. By the time you figure out you're in situations in life that will control the rest of your life. So it says in the multitudes of counselors, there is safety. When you look at wise people who, who run companies, you'll find out that they have a board of directors. They have a board of people giving them information. And once they get that information, then they can make a wise decision. That's the way it is in life. <coughs> Proverbs 12, it says, the way of a fool is right in his own eyes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. The way of a fool is right in his own eyes. But he that hearken unto counsel is wise. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And just the last scripture I want to Leave with your own that is Proverbs 9 and 8. It says, Reprove not a scorner, someone who won't listen, hard headed. It said, Reprove not a scorner, lest he hate thee. Rebuke a wise man, and he will love thee. Be because he knows that there was a ditch that he would have fell into, and you warned him about it, and he would just love you. Thank you. For a scorner, I know it, I know it, I know it. It's the only worth to waste your time. Amen. God bless you, amen. We'll get ready for the word of God today. Let's give God a hand praise, amen.